Hi guys and happy Tuesday. Today I have a tutorial on how I straighten my hair for you. Now flat ironing your hair is pretty self-explanatory but I do want to share just a few tips, tricks, and products I find to achieve the best results. I showed right at the beginning of this video that I use the GHD flat iron. That is my absolute favorite flat iron. I have had this one in particular for over six years and it is still working just as great today as it did the day that I got it. You can see naturally I have some crazy hair. It is thick, it is frizzy, and this flat iron gets the job done somehow. I also showed the wet brush that I am using. These are my absolute favorite hair brushes of all time. They are so gentle, they don't snag, they keep your hair healthy. Once you try a wet brush, you seriously can't use another brush ever again. Here you can see how massive and crazy my hair is. So I understand for all of you that are like, it's way too hard to straighten my hair, it takes so long, I'll never do it. If I can do it, then you can do it. And I'm telling you that once I straighten this with the help of some dry shampoo, this flat iron job can last me at least a few days. So I start off with taking very small sections. My first one starting right at the nape of my neck where my occipital bone rounds off. I spray each section individually with the Matrix Style Link Heat Buffer Thermal Protectant. My rule of thumb is to take subsections about the width of your flat iron. If you take too big of sections, you'll waste your time and each piece won't get nearly as straight. So I do a few passes until my hair is stick straight. I use the wet brush in between to make sure that there are no tangles for a super smooth result. You want to be careful when you're doing this though that the wet brush trails kind of far behind the flat iron because the bristles are not heat resistant and they will melt if you put it on super hot hair. That is the great thing about the GHD though, there is no heat dial to adjust temperature. It has a technology inside of the plates that adjust the temperature according to your hair texture based on how much heat passes through your hair to the other plate. It will lower or raise the temperature to the perfect degree for you so that no one will burn their hair off. That also helps with the wet brush a little bit where if you're using a generic flat iron and have it maxed all out all the way and you follow behind it with that wet brush, it will probably melt it. So for each section, I take this Biolage Exquisite Oil Serum. Now for some people, this may be way too much oil. You'll want to just put a tiny bit in at the very ends, applying it to all of your hair, focusing it just on the ends and not bringing it um, near to the root. Now my hair is so coarse and so naturally dry that I put it in each section. My next section I'm taking is right above my ear, doing the same thing, small sections, multiple passes until it is stick straight. After each section, you can see that I take, um, I brush it all back and I take a section from the very center back. Um, that's where a lot of people miss some spots. You'll be walking behind someone and see that they kind of missed some spots back there. So that's a little tip to bring it all together at the end of each section in the back and get that center piece because it's super noticeable when someone has a little chunk of curly hair back there. Okay, for this last fringe kind of triangle shaped section, I like to straighten this in horizontal rows all the way across. So I basically give myself a different part as I work through. I straighten all of these opposite the way that I generally part my hair. Now, I don't have an exact part like I know a lot of people do. I switch it up from day to day and kind of toss all my hair back and forth throughout the day. When you flat iron like this though, away from your natural part, you can see I'm pulling the hair down to my left. 
And then at the very end, I will flip my hair over and part it on the right. This gives me a little bit of volume. Sometimes when you straighten your hair, that top area can get so flat against your head. So this is a nice little trick to avoid that. Then I work some more of that serum through the ends to get them nice and soft and smooth. Now my hair was pretty clean this day, but I am still using a little bit of the Amika Dry Shampoo just to fluff it up a little bit. You can see I spray this right in the root area and work it in with my fingers. For any of you wondering how to use dry shampoo, here's a quick little look at where I like to apply mine. Now I am using some of the Big Sexy Hair Powder Play Light. This is a powder volumizer. You can see I lift up under where my part is and spray it right in the root area and work it in with my fingers. This gives your hair some grit to help it build up on top of itself and sit with a bit more volume. And then in this back area by my crown, I do a little bit of back combing to give me some volume. And I also have a colic back there, so this keeps it from splitting in the back. I brush over the top layers so that there is no teasing showing. Um, it's still built up underneath there for the volume, but it leaves it nice and smooth on the top. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial Tuesday. If you have any questions or video suggestions, please let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.